only about knowledge exchange, but are also about connecting with like-minded professionals from your respective industries. This year we have a structured networking and group discussion session. It's where each delegate will get a chance to network with distinguished influencers and leaders from their industry and will be managed by our friend Samia Hassan from Unwind the Grind. The session will focus on three industries, consulting, IT and software and financial services. This will take place post-lunch and we look forward to seeing you all there. However, right now, the next speaker, Mr. Hani Obey from NXN, will talk about the role of entrepreneurship in smart cities. So please give a round of applause to Mr. Hani Obey. How's everybody today? And I was hoping we have one forum, not between you and lunch or coffee. It never fails, I'm always there. So, bear with me. I see less people than when I walked in a one hour ago. And I'd like to also apologize. I took out my dark suits today, hoping that they'd fit regardless that I had a cast on. And it's all about change today. So this is part of my change, and uh, I feel with you that we are all changing, and as smart cities become the topic of today, uh, I am resembling that. So, I'm casual, so forgive me. Before I start talking about SMEs, smart cities, I'm just curious, how many SMEs do we actually have in the room? Can I have a raise of hands? Oh, I'm excited. This is good. So we do have SMEs and you're taking all this in. You know, you've got folks that are saying they're going to give you all the money that you need. There's folks that said we're going to educate you and teach you and tell you all about what it takes to become an SME, which is good. Don't know how much it's going to cost, but there are some good things there that you need to take advantage of. Today, what I want to talk about is we are seeing globalization. We're seeing terms like digital economy come up. We're looking at uh, knowledge-based society becoming a, a key uh, term that we are working with. All this affects us as, as uh, companies, affects us as SMEs. And then you have ICT, IoT, cloud, data, all these new terms that we're like, what? What are we doing here? Well, how does this impact me as a business? I just want to have a retail shop, sell a couple of services, make some money, put some food on the table, and be happy. Well, it does. And today what I want to show you is the opportunities that are there for you at SMEs and as, as entities that support SMEs, uh, what we can offer uh, in terms of innovation in terms of fuel for entrepreneurship. This is the agenda and uh, we'll go quickly. The key thing about this here is we all know who we are and I'll just take a brief for those who don't and show you the impact of, of us as SMEs. Talk about the smart city and the dynamics of a smart city and what makes up a smart city. Challenges that you may be aware of and how we, we deal with them and then the role that you have as SMEs in, in smart cities, and then touch on data, and what we as SMEs can do with data, should it be provided for us, or should we get it? Lots of statistics here, which pretty much tells me, and tells all of you in the room, you are very important to our economy. Without you, we're, we're, we're due, it's, it's over. If you look at this, we're accounting for 94% of companies operating in the UAE. 94%, 22 million number of people employed by SME in the GCC. 90% make up 90% of all registered companies in MENA. And the statistics go on and on. Before, before joining an Excel a couple years back as a partner running Smart Cities, I used to set up a, uh, an SME incubator uh, in Muscat called Zubair Small Enterprise Center. When we started this incubator, I had various SMEs come to me and say, I have a great, a great idea and I want to set it up. I said, great, what do you need? 100,000 reals. That's it? That's it? Can I see your business plan? What's that? Can I see your marketing plan? Oh, I have friends. Did you do a feasibility of your business? Does it really make sense? Oh, I believe in it. That's good. That's a Passion is good, but where are the rest of your ideas put on paper to make this come to life without any issues? 
We talked about education, we talked about innovation, we talked about mentoring these folks. In my perspective, this is what SMEs need. Yes, we talked about funding as being the last item on the agenda, but the education is what's required. And we need to continuously educate SMEs. Today, the center has 800 members. When we started three, four years ago, 10 members. This multinational company that sponsors the center takes nothing out of SMEs except the pride of their success. This center that we started many years ago, as others may do, doesn't take equity with these SMEs. Once again, they are proud to say, yes, we have SMEs that have succeeded because we guided them, we mentored them, we coached them. We opened doors with financial institutions to say, should they come through this program? They have a business plan that's sound. They have a marketing plan that makes sense. They understand the impact of social media and they know where to start their business and how to do it. We worked with government institutions as a center to say this SME has worked with us, open the door. Forget the, the minimum investment, the financials four years. How can you ask for financials for three years when you just started? So these are some of the things that a private company can do with SMEs to open doors and enjoy their success. Because at the end of the day, what's going to happen? These SMEs are going to start their business, going to hire more folks, have a positive impact on our economy, and in turn, provide the fruits of that SME to everybody around them. It's, it's a simple equation, it's just I don't understand why it's not happening more and more. Today, what we're seeing, and the center remains to be a success, and I'm proud of it as a board member of the center, and it's, it's they're telling me, and I just, the 800 number just got WhatsApp me because I told them I need to find the latest figure of how many members went through the center. And they're saying that they still see the same challenges and the same issues keep coming up with SMEs that come through their doors. It's that education, that learning about how do I uh, put my business out there? And how are the new trends in our cities, in our municipalities, or our nations as a whole how is it impacting how I should run my business? I said, well, look at the basic facts. This is what the world's all about right now. Scary. So why is this talk about smart cities? Population increases. Energy consumption whacked out of place. Our population, as you can see, has increased. People are moving to cities. People are dying too. And, you know, it takes care of. I'm glad the uh, brigadier said I don't have to go to a police station anymore. You can do it all online. That's good. I'm happy. So, but these are some of the things and, 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 and some of the elements that are impacting us. And hence, people are saying, how can we do things better, more impactful, in a seamless manner to everybody who is part of that? So our cities, what is and makes up the city? How we look at cities is a system of systems, all connected through various elements, from energy systems, building, mobility, security, governance, ICT, and the water infrastructure. Put them together, you have a city. Now, if we have these system of systems in place, how can we interconnect? How can SMEs benefit? from such a new reality. This goes on to the definition of a smart city. A smart city as Dubai has become, and as many of the cities in the UAE and the region are saying, have to be more efficient, seamless, impactful, and safe. Four pillars, Smart Dubai Office is leading this today, and other municipalities and regions around the world are realizing to be smart, we need to be efficient. Optimize the use of our city resources. Work together. I was talking to our data practice lead a few minutes ago, Kami Vasali, and I was telling him, how is data, how was the evolution of data in the world and specifically in the region from your experience? He was telling me, usually data is top down within an organization. Over time, it became a cross. But what is the next step? The next step is what we heard today called the third platform, where this data 
across and top down, puts on a platform on a, in an area where everybody is gathering information from various factors around us, not only within the organization but outside the organization, to be able to produce efficient, seamless, impactful, and safe services to everybody around us. The six dimensions of any city fall within these three, six elements. Economy, and I said people are moving towards a digital economy, more innovation, more entrepreneurship. Governance, and we've heard several government officials today talk about how we need to be more innovative, more transparent, provide impactful and seamless services. Our environment and our appreciation of the environment and how we manage the sustainability. Living, and what we've seen, by the way, in the GCC specifically, is a lot of our require our I'd say the, the key elements of our smart city is economy and living. That's our focus area. Everybody says improve economy and living are the key pillars. The opportunistic is governance, environment, mobility, and people. When we did a similar study here as an organization in, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we realized guess what? Economy and living are key requirements of, of the kingdom. Better the economy, move away from the traditional oil intensive. Uh, infrastructure and start diversifying the economy and improve the quality of life for the citizens. The same applies here in the UAE. So if we deep dive further into these smart city dimensions, just for you to get, I know there's a lot of writing here, my marketing manager gave me a pitch there saying too many words. I'm like okay but it's, it's, it tells a lot so I, I highlighted what's key for you to take in. Smart economy is all about diversification. Diversify using the enablers, ICT, to be able to better leverage ICT in your service offerings. Innovation, entrepreneurship, and of course, flexibility. Smart living, and we talked about smart living having a pillar of quality of life. Here we're talking about providing culture facilities, providing health, better health conditions for folks, individual safety, housing availability. All these, if they become apparent to all of us, we have a smarter living society. Governance. Well, regulations, please, I know the front line's almost gone, but ease up those regulations. Help us survive in order for us to provide and give back to our society. Self-sufficiency, smarter people, we need to educate ourselves. As smarter people, we need to learn about the impacts of smart cities. We need to become more innovative. We need to become more entrepreneurial, flexible and creative, and have this type of participation in public life. There's no longer govern makes the rules and we have to abide. We have to work together. The smart environment, which is a key element of sustainability. And of course, last but not least, mobility. But we're seeing lots of activity within in mobility in our region. Six dimensions, all enabled by ICT. ICT becomes the key pillar that allows us to foster better results between governance, economy, and environment living, mobility, and people. These tools that are provided, provided by information and communication technologies allow us to do a better, uh, have better results. Why? Because it's the interconnectedness and integration of these systems that we talked about earlier that provides us the results that we look for. Issues faced by our cities. Issues faced by you. These are also opportunities for us to innovate and to provide solutions to address these issues. Traffic congestion, insufficient infrastructure, growing populations, energy needs or energy management, unplanned organization, communication between entities, waste management. All these are issues that are facing our cities. But for every one of these issues, there are solutions that are enabled by ICT. And if the big companies don't have the time to address them, we as SMEs should take the time and make the time to actually figure out what solutions can we provide using ICT as an enabler to address these growing issues. So our role as part of the ecosystem is very vital. Government, we know, is going to introduce new legislation, provide policies for us to work with them. MNCs, resource intensive products and services, but they need to work with us because we provide the largest 
sector in terms of what we give the economy. So why can't MNCs work with SMEs? Work with SMEs? Citizens make their needs and issues heard. Social media is now a great channel for us to, to take advantage of voicing our opinion, voicing our needs. And then this is where we come in. Leverage these resources, leverage these limitations in order for us to innovate and be successful entrepreneurs. So, we have all this data available. We, have, we know what the issues are. From data to actions is a long path, but it can be easier should we keep in mind that the inputs to those actions are many. Whether it be the cloud, mobile, social media, all the sensors that the governments are putting out there, open data becoming a good subject that a lot of folks are now pitching in. The outputs of such gives us an idea of what we need to work on. We can have some real-time insights that provide services for the citizens and make you more profitable over time. How we can manage and make decisions using any of these areas. We can monitor through the sensors what to do and develop an application that voices that. We can start doing prediction, predictive analytics. We can impact cities and nations and businesses through that use of data. From, like I said prior, from managing the data, because now we have access to it, and if we don't have access, let's try to get access to it in order for us to achieve the actions we need and have the insights that we desire. So SMEs, you, need to keep an eye out for the data that's out there that you need to get in order to innovate and become the entrepreneurs that you want to be. Because with gathering that data and doing the analysis that you can do, you will impact all the six dimensions of the city and be an active player in developing your city. With doing so, and having a third platform where data resides on, you can impact smart governance, mobility, people, environment, living, and economy. As long as that data is available, and the governments in Dubai, in the UAE, and in other parts of the GC are working towards that, there is a Dubai data establishment that exists here. There is a Dubai data platform that is built and being filled with data. Take advantage of that. Voice your opinion so you can start accessing such data in order to provide back to society. Because that would lead us to becoming a smarter city. Without you taking part in this, we can't achieve a smarter city. The government can't do it alone, and we need all of us with government to be able to achieve our smarter city. So data to information to knowledge leads us to wisdom. Channels are many that we can actually access these services and be able to provide what we need to achieve them. We can provide personal dashboards, community dashboards, real-time city dashboards. These are all solutions, applications, services that the government can make available to us, but we can be the providers of such tools. We can do predictive traffic management. We can do sensitive uh, drivers for the city. We can do immigration status trackers. All different types of services that can be made available to citizens as well as to the government. Here's an interesting solution. We worked with the uh, government of Dubai to check the traffic from uh, Dira to Jabal Ali. And we realized heavy congestion <coughs> early parts of the morning of folks leaving that part of town to go to Jabal Ali. Hmm, what's the issue? Well, everybody who lives there works there. That allowed us to suggest to the government, and the government did take action to build housing facilities near Jabal Ali to get rid of this green line. Ding, ball went out, solution, and the application was made available. These are some of the innovations that we can take advantage of. 
And there are many scenarios like this that can provide the needed output that we're looking for. Through GIS and geospatial tools that are out there, we can actually develop solutions to be able to know where I want to have my business when I decide to set it up. What demography is present in certain areas that may or may not use my service? All this together will fuel people's happiness. Because we, we know more now. We've learned through ICT what to do and when to do it. And the applications and solutions and services that you can offer all because you have access to data. And you may say, well, I don't have access to data. Well, we need to get that data. We need to be able to know our solutions, our offerings, how best to use them, and to satisfy which part of the dimensions that we just talked about, and which part that we are going to do first. So this tells you a little bit about the potential you have in SMEs. Now, many of the folks at the center that, that I talked about Today, the 800 members, I would say about 60% of them from what gone, going through the files are successful businesses because they adapted, they changed. They looked at the data, they looked at the demographies, they had the right plans in place in order to succeed. We can do the same here in the UAE and other parts of the GCC. What I want to end today is a small video, an application that we developed that illustrates an SME that thought about an idea to allow us to figure out where to develop our business and where to set it up using the tools and data they have made available to them. This application costs very little, but the impact, as we mentioned earlier, seamless and factful Till today has, has shown lots of benefits to the people that are using it. Can we have the video please?